Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sports Map Houston. I'm Vanessa Richardson. That man is Paul Gallant. We're on from 10 to noon every day, ESPN 97.5 and 92.5 PG. Last week, we saw kind of a continuation of what you could call a war on words between Jim Crane and Yankees GM Brian Cashman. We covered Crane's comments last week. Cashman has since fired back at Crane saying, and I quote, I don't think anybody's going to dance to the tune he's singing, to be quite honest. I'd say it's called deflection and him trying to equate probably an equivalent of a parking ticket to maybe 162 felonies, end quote. I think it's ridiculous. I think Brian Cashman is the one that is deflecting because he knows that if they don't go to a World Series, he could be on the hot seat. What say you? If George Steinbrenner was still in charge of the New York Yankees, Brian Cashman would not have a job. They haven't won a World Series since 2009, and he deserves every single ounce of criticism that he has gotten. But the Yankee approach in the last five years to not making it to a World Series has routinely been, well, the Astros. Even the Los Angeles Dodgers, who you could argue have a strong reason to be mad about what happened to them in the 2017 World Series, at least they have gotten to a World Series, at least they have won a World Series, while New York has continuously choked in big spots and been the Astros' little brother in every single Mm -hmm. matchup between the two teams. It's interesting that he continues to bring this conversation up because he is the one who started it earlier this year. Jim Crane, of course, responded. Maybe Jim Crane should be above it. Maybe Jim Crane should move on. But I, for one, wearing an Astros hat right now, (laughs) kind of like that Jim Crane is sticking up for the Astros. Someone's got to keep on doing it if you don't have Carlos Correa looking like a wrestling heel staring into the camera and telling Cody Bellinger to shut the hell up. Yep, I absolutely love it. This is kind of the first time we've seen Jim Crane really throw barbs like this defending the Astros. You just brought this up. When Correa signed with the Twins... There was kind of a collective question in Houston, especially among media, of who would step up and be the team's vocal leader. I would have thought it might have been a player. Are we kind of seeing Jim Crane take on that role? I like it. I like it. He might be the one taking it on. And how seriously do you take him? I I honestly don't know. I don't know if anyone in the clubhouse is hearing Jim Crane and saying, yeah, my boss has my back. Because I feel like (laughs) everything that needs to be said about the Astros cheating scandal in 2017 has already been said. They were the most egregious offenders, but they were not the only team in baseball to be doing something along those lines. So if Jim Crane's going to do it, I like it. I liked seeing teams talk trash to each other. Baseball is such a boring regular regular season. There's 162 games. You may as well get as much drama injected into that regular season as you possibly can have. So I like it. But at the same time, I would just say to Brian Cashman, like, dude, like maybe focus on yourself. And to his credit, the Yankees are off to a pretty good start. They're off to a really good start. Do you agree with me in that if the Yankees had won a World Series, if they were doing better in the postseason, that Brian Cashman wouldn't even be saying this to begin with? It's a good question. I don't know. Probably not. I, I, I would think that the Yankees of old who actually were to be respected and feared. The ones that I grew up watching in Boston, dismembering the Boston Red Sox every opportunity that they had. That team would not be thinking about things like this. They are on to the next year. They are on to winning the next World Series because it is their birthright, their divine birthright to win one. And now they've turned into these little babies who whine (laughs) and complain about everything, which is hilarious and delicious for me, especially knowing a lot of Yankee fan friends. But they are acting like they are no longer the Yankees that we remember. So I, I am with you, Vanessa. Had they won a World Series, I don't think they would be whining as much as they are. But that's who they are.